I am I am looking forward now to welcoming Martha Peters and Joshua King. Martha is the director of public art at the Arts Council of Fort Worth, and Joshua is a planning consultant to the uh, the program. Uh, and as it turns out, in just a couple of weeks from now, the Fort Worth Public Art is going to premiere commission new media work by international artists Rafik Anadol and Quayola thanks to an important collaborative partnership that they have with Aurora. So Martha and Josh, you're on. All right. Thank you, Gail. Mm -hmm. Fort, Fort Worth Public Art, which many of you know is the City of Fort Worth program managed by the Arts Council of Fort Worth, is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year with an amazing event born from our collaboration with Dallas-based public art organization, Aurora. Next. Aurora explores, experiments, and expands it's the future of art at the intersection of art, technology, and community. Our biannual has collaborated with 320 local and regional art, local and international artists, and has been fortunate enough to bring over 1,000 people to North Texas. We're now expanding to new cities and beautiful collaborations like the one with Martha Peterson and her organization are helping us breed year-round programming now. Also in the act of COVID-19, we created the Artist Relief Fund that has helped bring over $60,000 in grants to our local artists. Next slide. To celebrate the centennial of Texas in 1936, this 204 foot tower you see on the left is a na National Register listed. It's called Pioneer Tower, and it was built as part of the Will Rogers Memorial Center. This center anchors our cultural district and hosts the annual Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo and dozens of equestrian shows and other events. In 2018, the city was beginning to rehabilitate the Pioneer Tower, and the Fort Worth Public Art Program had funds set aside for a destination quality artwork tied to this location. We seized upon the opportunity to invite Joshua King and fellow Aurora co-founder Shane Pennington to pitch the idea of commissioning projection mapping videos for the tower to city officials and the Fort Worth Art Commission. A few months later, they officially became our project consultants. Joshua? As part of the core team, as part of the core team, we approached this project thinking about the future, future growth of the city of Fort Worth. Would you go back to the previous slide, please? From power to internet, we updated the infrastructure of this iconic venue. From, we even did a 360 degree scan of the Pioneer Tower so future artists can use this beautiful iconic building as a blank canvas. Next slide. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let's uh, actually, we need to go to the next slide. I think we got a little backwards. Okay. Um, through a process that engaged representatives of the three adjacent art museums and other cultural district institutions, new media curator Dune Choi was selected. Ultimately, Rafik Anadol on the left and Quayola on the right were commissioned by the city of Fort Worth to create audiovisual artworks based on proposals, which they developed after visiting Fort Worth in January of 2020, before the pandemic hit, we're happy to say. <laughs> um, uh, Joshua? Will Rogers' observation that the West really began in Fort Worth was the inspiration behind Rafiq Anadol. To celebrate the people, places, his dreams that the city has woven together through the years. And to tell the story, he's gathered data from the community and the archives of Fort Worth and then applied a machine generated algorithm to create a new future that has never been seen for Fort Worth. The Fort Worth Rodeo inspired Quayola to use the latest digital tracking systems to digitize a series of horses movements and translate them into abstract animations. He also employed high precision 3D laser scanning systems to capture geometric data of trees in Fort Worth. 
translating each into hundreds of millions of 3D coordinates, which are visualized digitally as complex clusters of geometry. Next is a short video animation of these artists' works. Pioneer Tower Commissions, uh, the National Endowment for the Arts and the Texas Commission on the Arts awarded the Arts Council's $235,000 in grants for a supporting event, including an exhibition of site-specific works by 10 diverse local and regional new media artists curated by Fort Worth-based Dr. Lauren Cross. Next. FW Public Art is where you can find us on Facebook or Instagram during the event. We sure hope you'll join, uh, check, us, check in and see the event in progress on uh, one of these two dates. Next. Joshua. And if you or your organization are interested in a collaboration or exploring the future of art at the intersection of art and technology, we'd love to talk with you. you can find out more at DallasAurora.com or you can email, email me personally at Joshua at DallasAurora.com. Thank you very much.